squash casserole recipe that is easy to make, crisp up perfectly, and is not loaded with a ton of calories, dairy, or fat? My name is London Brazil from EvolvingTable.com, where I teach you how to make nourishing meals to serve your loved ones. And that nutritious recipe today is a healthy squash casserole. Are you ready to knock this one out of the park? Come on in and let's get started. We've already got our oven preheating to 350 degrees. So we're first going to start off with one pound of zucchini and one pound of yellow squash. <laughs> You can thinly slice your zucchini and squash by either using a really sharp knife or you can use a mandolin. If you're using a mandolin, please, please be so very careful so that you do not lose a fingertip. Go ahead and cut off that bulky end of the squash. If you happen to know what that end is called, let me know in the comments below because I don't have any idea. Thinly slice our squash and zucchini into 1 4 inch slices. Or if it's taking you too long, you can just snap your fingers and they're all done. Next is my secret trick to getting your squash casserole to turn out pretty crispy instead of super soggy. Salt. And you only need a little bit, about half of a teaspoon. Just sprinkle it all over the top of your zucchini and squash and watch as the magic happens. This little layer of excess moisture will start bubbling to the top and all you have to do is wipe it off with a paper towel. Spray a nine inch square baking dish with cooking spray. You can also use a two and a half or three quart dish as well. Alternatively, layer the zucchini and squash, overlapping them slightly. Drizzle two and a half tablespoons of olive oil over the squash and sprinkle with three fourths teaspoon salt and half teaspoon pepper. Now that we've got our casserole assembled, it's time to move on to that crunchy breadcrumb topping. We'll first start off with one third cup of gluten free or regular panko breadcrumbs. Add one third cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then my secret ingredient, garlic powder. You don't need much, just about 1 4 teaspoon to really take this casserole over the top. Whisk your breadcrumb topping together or stir it with a spoon. Sprinkle topping over the zucchini and squash. Cover the baking dish with aluminum foil. And then we're gonna pop it in our preheated 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. Remove foil and turn heat to a high broil. Broil for an additional three to four minutes or until the topping starts to turn a nice golden brown. Our squash casserole just came out of the broiler and it looks so, so good. I'm just gonna add a little sprinkle of parsley to the top for a pop of color. And where are you bringing this squash casserole to? Leave me a comment in the link below and let me know who you're sharing this recipe with. But okay, I can't wait anymore. I'm ready to take a taste test and see how good this actually is. There we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. A soft, tender, Zucchini and squash mixed in with the crunchy breadcrumbs and Parmesan topping. This is definitely a squash casserole your whole family and friends can get down with. If you liked what you saw here today, make sure you check out these other healthy side dish recipes. And don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss another nourishing meal to serve your loved ones. See you again soon.